quite a few friends and they taught me many things already about myself that there's many forms of communication in this world. So why don't we get into a bit of story? Today as I walk through the park on my live broadcasting here at Zoo, Friends of the Festival and all of those things that could be combined when you talk about a festival. Today at the festival there's many people, little ones and big ones and medium ones and ones who don't even know they're here. You know why? Because they're too busy looking at everyone else and how exciting it is to be a part of a festival. Do you know what a festival is? A festival is a gathering of people to celebrate a time or an occasion or even just life. Today's festival is about diversification. That means when one, two, three, four, even five walks of life come together in a great place to show that we all are the same, that we need one another, and that the most important thing is people. Well, also in the zoo today, I found that there were many kinds of animals. There are four-legged animals like the giraffe and the elephant. And even a four-legged dog is an animal, but he is not quite kept in the zoo. And then there's the monkey who swings from limb to limb or from branch to branch or from sometimes the ground. He jumps real quick as he grabs banana as he begins to eat, as he's propping himself up for an evening nap on a tree limb. And then there's the lion that lays around and looks at everyone as if she's the most prestigious and beautiful animal in the whole jungle. And then there's the elephant who's the biggest but the quietest. And at the same time, the elephant is looking for friends. That's why he wags his ears up and down as if to say, come along. I'd like to allow you to get cool by the breeze of my ears. What big ears I have, the elephant would say. And not to mention the dogs. Did you see them quacking? Quack, 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 as if to tell everyone, I am the proudest duck in the zoo today. And then there's the two kids who are animals too in their own right, jumping all over everything, <laughs> trying to climb a tree trying to sit on top of each other if they can. And then there's people that you meet along the way who we call spectators. Do you know what a spectator is? Someone who stands and looks, who usually doesn't participate, but they truly would like to be a part, but they haven't quite got their nerves up yet. In saying that, I should tell you about one of my favorite animals, the groundhog. I know you've heard of him. He's the one who comes up to tell you how long or how short the summer or the winter is going to be. Also, as I was coming to the main gate today, I saw a bit of horses. The ones you ride, the ones you eat an apple to every now and then, the one who says, <laughs> and shows their teeth sometimes. I don't know if it's because they're laughing or just because they want you to see their pearly whites. Even sometimes in the zoo, there's rabbits. Small ones, furry, colors black and white, brown and spotted, and some, so many colors. You can't say it in one tongue or it'll be twisted because that's how many it is. And most of all today, I think what I really liked about being out here was the sunshine, the warmth on your face with a nice breeze falling slowly behind it, pushing you along no matter where you go, inviting you to sit down sometime, and sometimes swaying you a bit in the wind, as if you're listening to a bit of music that's ever fascinating to your ears and causes your soul to rock. You know, like when the guys called the pool, were playing the music from yesteryear. Some of the songs they played I was fascinated by because I remember them when I was just a little boy. I remember songs like uh, American Pie. I remember songs like uh, 
What are some of your favorite songs that you listened to when you were a kid? Do you remember them? Oh, does anyone remember? Oh my God, have fun. Oh, McDonald had a form E I E I O and maybe B I N G O and Bingo was his name. Oh, or maybe the former and the Dale. Or maybe Three Blind Mice. Maybe some of those those old nursery rhyme songs that are fantastic and poems that are stories. Remember, everything is a story. Yes. Every story has beginning, a middle, yes. and an end. Yes, right. And so there's little red writing. Uh, I guess I should tell my version of it since you're so fascinated yes. by it. Yes. But one thing about my little red riding hood, she was not all living along, living bees, trying to help with the stories. Oh, I'm sorry. Do what you will. Oh. Uh, well, as you're getting on your way, rules. I'll tell you, she rules, but Little Red Riding Hood, my version while you're walking away. My Little Red Riding Hood, she ran through the forest to go to get to grandmother's house, but one thing about her, she didn't drop any crumbs. She had plenty of bread in her basket, but it wasn't just for granny. It's a smart girl she was, and along the way, she always gave to those in need. This little Red Riding Hood was almost like Red Robin Hood, but at the same time, she was smart. She was giving, she was loving, and she cared. Her first stop on the way to her grandmother's house was at the pig's house. Remember the pigs who got their house blown down? You remember the three little pigs? You remember them? Well, Little Red Riding Hood thought she'd give each one a sandwich on her way to grandmother's house because you know her house wasn't going to be blown down, so she didn't mind sharing. Her second stop was at her friend. You know the friend? The three blind mice? See how they run? You remember how they run? And they went to the barn where their tails were chopped off with a butcher knife. What a terrible sight, three blind mice. She also gave them a few band-aids to put on their tails so that they wouldn't hurt too bad. And then on down the road, she ran into Mother Goose, and Mother Goose was quite exciting with her big bag and a goose on this side and a big hat on her head, and at the same time she was saying, Little Red Riding Hood, don't believe me. Don't forget to give me some pies from your grandmother, she said. As she slowly approached her grandmother's